and then let's take the contrast and put it all the way down, right? So here's a scenario, very absurd scenario where you have the contrast is colors are completely washed. So of course, now when you drive wherever you want to drive, there's not going to be much difference. And this is one of the things that I saw to some of the guys that asked me for advice on this. They basically had the contrast very washed. So that's what's going to happen. Right, so I wanted to make this quick video about the Hue Light Sync because I had a few people that mentioned that they can't emulate, simulate what I'm experiencing here. So I just wanted to just show this because I've solved a couple of people's issues by just instructing them the way I'm going to present it here, right? So I am in uh, Assetto Corsa in on a it's called gunman or something like that um gunman track uh and this i choose this track because it's that it has a lot of trees it's very foresty so we can go through shadows and, and and such and i'm in a porsche carrera uh rsr it has this very dark dash in front and it's a really good representation of basically what you would get in some cars where the dashboard, the, the bottom side of the car is um, darker in shadows most of the time. And that's an important factor because that's why a lot of people don't get the, the light properly at times. So if we now go and just navigate a bit, I'll show you exactly what's happening. You get a bit of a shadow and a light and such, but it's not that obvious in the cabin right so you see you see how these lights you can't really see the lights properly because i've kind of covered them but if i just lift a bit you'll see how there's not much shadow cast the front bulbs the side bulb and the hue play bars are positioned to track the the central area the bottom side of the car but the bottom side of the car is always in the shadows because that's how the car is constructed. So you never see it lit lit up. Okay, so now if we go back to the pits. Okay, and the first thing that we need to do, which is not set by default, is in hue lights. So if we go to settings, keyboard shortcuts here. And you're going to have a capture area section. So you will assign your keyboard shortcuts for the capture area. So for me, for manual capture area, I have control and this square bracket to the right. And then to reset to full screen, I also set that up if I don't like the capture area. And I want to go back to uh, full screen. I do basically control and the square brackets left. All right, so that is important because then what it means is that you can select your capture area to not have to basically capture the dark area that much. So if we go back, if we close the settings and we start sync again, and if I now do control and square bracket, and I'll just select an area that is a bit narrower in terms of the height. So remember, we have the lights set up as bottom. And I'll show that uh, on the um, on the bottom. Look at this. So this is the capture area. And what you want is the bottom section to be just slightly in the dark area as well. Because what happens is hue lights splits the screen into three sections the ground level which is this area then the tv level and then the ceiling level and i believe that these would be three equal parts so if you want to capture the dash where the where there's light on the dash right 
but not capture and not reflect much of what's on the road, then you must you need to make sure that this area where you want the light to be captured on the bottom has to be equal to those size. Now, this is not exactly there, but we'll give this a try. Okay, so you already see that the light has changed and is brighter in the cabin already. So now if I drive, you'll also see the difference between shadow and light change drastically because we're now we're capturing more light from here from the dash there you go okay so let's find some trees okay so you see that the doubt now the change is a lot dr more drastic now if you notice the the light doesn't completely shut down and I chose to do that because on camera it looks better like for example this when I'm in the shadows it doesn't completely shut down makes it look better on camera because my cockpit doesn't go completely dark there's still a hue it's a blue hue but it's still a hue but the difference between light and shadow is clearly visible yeah, so now it's bright, super bright, and everything on track is bright. And now let's find uh, some spots. Yeah, there you go. Clear, clear difference. And again, it's all in the capture area. If you find yourself where you have a lot of this dark... Ooh, where should we go? Should we go here? Yeah, let's go here. I, I really like this track. I need to do a video with this track. If you find yourself being, you know, having a lot of the section here dark all the time, just find a section of the car where you don't have that much darkness. Uh, and and it's basically the, the light, the sun reflects off that portion and choose that portion. And again, you need to make sure that the dashboard section is equally in height to the other mounting levels of the lights. I don't know if that makes sense. Because if, for example, the, the dashboard is like this and then the other sections are taller, then what will happen is hue lights will balance and choose chunk, uh, cut more grab more of the area for the ground level so rather than just having the dashboard as the ground level you're also going to have the road pixels as the ground level what will happen is it's not going to tone down completely when you navigate uh on track so now the dash is in complete shadow there's still light here so there's still blue hue light that casts now again for me when i film this is great but if you want a more drastic tone, then probably you need to redo the the mapping area, the capture area, so that the dashboard... Now, first of all, depending on where, how much you capture of your triple screens, for example, that's how it's going to place the center. So in the app, that's how the, the daylight setup looks for me. So I have all of the lights, the front, the side, the back, quite aligned to where the um, center of the screen is. So if I selected the capture area, something like this, the center will be here. If I select the capture area here, then the center will be that. Yeah, so that's kind of the deal with this. So, okay, let's see. Let's, let me reset now. Now this right now is in full screen. Again, this is decent, but the light doesn't go that bright. It should probably go brighter because uh, the track is brighter and the dash is brighter here. Now, the, in reality, if you really, really want to simulate being in a car, probably this is fine because you have a roof um, above you. So you're not going to get the same level of brightness that it's outside because you're covered by a roof. Okay, let's see what happens here where it, this is quite dark. Yeah, so it still doesn't go completely, completely pitch black, right? So if it doesn't go completely 
pitch black, this dashboard here, you're not going to have the same reaction. So you're not going to have as dar dark as possible. When I done that demo, basically, when I was going with the Porsche under uh, the bridge, the Porsche top was already dark Alcantara. The light was reflecting quite nicely when the sun was hitting the, the dash. But in the in the dark zones, it would get the light would dim even more because the Alcantara material would be um, of that, you know, dark uh, tone. This this is a light tone dashboard. So you see when I'm when I'm in the shadow here, there's still color. There's still color to this dashboard. So let's do that and select the the mode again. Yeah, it's a lot about, you know, just figuring out what the be best angle and source is for you. So if I start here, that's one chunk. That's two, that's three. Again, I need to be and there needs to be like this is this height, so then another and another. So then I'll put it lower to here so that it only covers this area and it doesn't go, the, the ground level doesn't go over outside pixels. And that's why you usually start and grab the area from the bottom up so that you can control the, 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 the top section. Okay, so because that's, you can see already that this went um, lighter, is blue, because I'm tracing that color there. And now when I go into light, there you go, super bright, right? Because that's super bright now as well. So it really depends because if you're going to have a light dashboard like this, you're gonna get more light in the cabin and then the contrast, um, you, you're gonna get um, the shadows, but it wouldn't go that dark because that dashboard is lighter in color. Yeah, so it doesn't go pitch black. Now, the other aspect of this is your your contrasts matter a lot, your picture contrasts matter a lot because you have a, if, if you have very washed colors and light colors, like you're not gonna get those dark spots as you would. So for example, and I know I said I'm gonna make this a fast video, but uh, I just wanna show you this. Let's find another proper dark spot. Okay, so this is kind of like all in pitch dark. Now, if I go to AC settings and soul config, and in soul config, you can't really see this in, in the soul configuration if you have soul, but in any games, you would, you would get these options. You should have somewhere contrast, so if I put the, let's say, the brightness down. Okay, so that is now darker, right? So I'm just giving you an example. This is, that, this is just a very absurd example. But look, that is almost as low brightness as it goes. Look at that, right? So that matters a lot. So if, if you're, if you're, brightness is way up like this, right? When your brightness is way up like this, you'll see that, you know, well, there's a lot of light casted, although I'm in the shadow. So now if I drive a bit, there's light, strong light as well. But again, there's quite a lot of light still when I'm in the shadow because my brightness is quite high up, right? So. If I put the brightness back to the lowest, you see now it's almost completely dark. So, you know, you're probably not going to be gaming like this, racing like this, but you see, and, and the light coming now is less because that's quite dark as well. So it really matters on how you have your image picture set up as well as, you know, the capture area as I showed you earlier. So let's put the brightness back to something more acceptable like that. And and then let's take the contrast and put it all the way down, right? So here's a scenario, very absurd scenario where you have the contrast is, colors are completely washed. So of course now when you drive, wherever you wanna drive, there's not gonna be much difference. And this is one of the things that I saw 
to some of the guys that asked me for advice on this. They basically had the contrast very washed. So even if we put it more higher, you see, this is still light. The contrast is still a bit washed. I use quite high contrast because of the HDR. And this is one of the things that people need to understand. If you're gonna use, if you use screens, it's fine if you don't have HDR screens, but try to put the contrast as high as possible in, in order for this to, to really work. Otherwise it's not gonna work that well, right? If, if the dif difference between here and here is not that great, between shadow and light is not that great, then of course the effect is not going to be that high. So I usually have the contrast quite high up like this, right? So now it's darker. And then, you know, you can play with other options as well, depending on the game. Yeah, and that again, like it's just a matter of, yeah, so what the type of light, dark contrast that you're comfortable on track. Yeah. For some, this contrast might be too much for me, it works really well. I, I kind, of, kind of like it and it works with my screens as well because they're HDR and they can take tho those differences. So yeah, I know I said I'm going to do a short video. This is a long, very long video, but my point is there's tweaking to be done to make it perfect. It really matters on the car as well. The dash where you can, but the fact that you can capture the area that you want the lights to play with is pretty flexible, flexible enough to make almost any car that has a dashboard work for you. And then it's a matter of adjusting the brightness and contrast of your image in the game to make sure that, you know, these if th that transition from dark to light is um, as intense as possible so that the lights can reflect that as well. All right. I hope this was useful. Um, I just wanted to make this follow up video just to make sure that everyone has the right information and as much information as possible to make this work for, for yourself. <laughs>